Hi, everyone. All right, so um, back in 2012, I was a teacher at T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, Virginia. And for those of you, if that name sounds familiar, T.C. Williams High School, it's because it's actually the high school from the movie Remember the Titans. Um, and for those who don't know the movie, it's about uh, Denzel Washington's a football coach in two schools. They integrate, right? And they uh, win the state title and they go undefeated. Great, it's a true story, it's great. Um, and even if you don't know the movie, you may have actually heard the fight song that they use in the movie. It goes, we are the Titans, we are the Titans, mighty, mighty Titans, mighty, mighty Titans. Ooh, ah, oh yeah, ooh, ah, feels good. <laughs> All right, I'm not singing anymore. <laughs> anyway, so um, TC is a wonderful school, and it had an incredibly diverse population. Um, and something that happens throughout all schools with diverse populations is that it had a big achievement gap, um, especially with their Hispanic and newcomer population. And so that's where the International's Network of Public Schools comes in. And what the International Network of Public Schools is it's a nonprofit, um, and it's been helping school districts for about 30 years by providing a new school model that's targeted and specific to support English language learners and newcomers. And so at TC Williams, this new school design was different and unique because it was actually a school within a school. So at the International Academy is what it was called. And the, at the International Academy, it had its own principals, its own teachers, its own curriculum and instruction. Um, but it was all within the framework of TC Williams. So kids got the same diploma, they were on the same buses, played on the same sports teams, right? It was a school within a school. And I thought that was a really unique and different design. I could not have been more excited to join. So flash forward to the first day of school and I'm pumped. I'm ready to be a teacher. Like, I went through all of my uh, professional development of working with L's and I'm ready to go on the first day of school. I get into the classroom and I'm doing my whole first day spiel, and I got this like amazing PowerPoint on the board. You guys, you guys would have loved this PowerPoint, it was awesome. Um, and I'm opening up about myself, everything you do on a first day. And I finish up, and crickets. Nothing from the students. Silence. And now my, my heart kind of sinks. And you have to understand that my whole career, I've been using my personality as a way to kind of build relationships with my students and make those connections. And this was totally different. So period after period, the same thing. Silence, blank stares. So next door to my class was a science teacher named Matt Parker. And we were lucky to have Matt because he was actually a teacher at another internationals high school in New York. Um, we were lucky to have him because he was kind of carrying the culture, showing us what it was like to be an internationals high school. So I go over to his classroom at the end of the day and I'm telling him this whole story. And he's kind of smiling at me the whole time. And when I finish, he goes, just, just ask him how to say things. And I said, what? He says, yeah, j just say como se dice, it'll be okay. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'm gonna try this. So I get to class the next day and I'm still smiling and they're still staring. Um, and I get in there and I say, all right guys, this is government class. How do we say government? Como se dice government? And I have one student raise their hand and I call him and he says, gobierno. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, I got one student to participate, that's better than yesterday. So I keep going, I'm like, it's 2012, it's an election year, we're gonna talk about the president. How do you say president? And now lots of students raise their hand. And from then on, I hooked them, right? I started building those relationships and making those connections that I knew would last the entire school year. And so here's the point of my story. Here's what I want you to take away. When we create new schools, we have to learn from each other. Not just student to student, but also teacher to teacher. The best schools design and create opportunities for our teachers to share their experiences. I can say without a shadow of a doubt that the teachers at TC, their willingness to try, to fail, and then to share their failings, that trickled down to our students. We became the models of failing forward or learning from our mistakes. 
And so the cliche goes that a teacher's classroom is like an island, and teachers don't like to leave their island. I hope that my story shows you that even the smallest collaboration, two teachers talking after a tough day, that can have an impact that lasts the entire school year. Good luck with your schools, everyone. Thank you very much.